So this would be like part 10 or something. So the warehouse, I was gonna re uh, revisit, uh, was it Central Square? It used to be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna research it. Central Square, the bakery. I'll see. I'm gonna research them all. But I'll, I'll just go to the warehouse for now. <sighs> and risk it all. I guess I could have hope for a trade too. See if the trader comes and I can trade for both food and hands. Oh shit. So there's armed individuals here. I'm gonna be fucking careful. Right, maybe not that soon now. I doubt that'll be in the probably be place. That's where I'm gonna have to be careful. Gonna try from the other side. Oh shit. It won't budge. Uh, can I get up here though? Oh, yeah, I can. First things first, as you know, we make our easy getaway. Like we gotta set up a, a way to get away fast. Should know the guy who by now. By now. People taking shifts. Maybe the trash and die here. First things first, break that before anything. They could just wander through that door. I'm gonna search that. I'm not happy that they seem to rotate ships because that looks like they're actually quite confident. Insertion. Even some of the military places I don't check out before they have to worry about rotating ships. That's quite concerning. Generally, then again, I usually only worry about good fight. Someone wrote on the wall don't listen to the radio, they are lying to us. People becoming skeptical of me, it seems. Why did someone write this? We are helping people. That's, that last one also died. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for this conversation to die and ask someone to move. No one paid the ransom for him. No one paid the ransom for him. Do we, you just left him to die, or did he just get shot down? So it's clear these guys are kidnappers. You killed them? This doesn't look military, because then generally they don't that, right? No, he fled. Yeah, so these are just random gangsters, but they're well all it looks like. Both automatic assault rifle vibes. <coughs> me. Seems they aren't closing the doors behind them. And they're both going indoors, not actually anyone staying outdoors. I guess it does cause them to worry about frostbite and the like. Is that a fucking minigun? Do they actually have a minigun in there? Surely that's a back one. There's no fucking way. Because there's no miniguns that have shown up in the like, This game's fucking stressful in a fight, but... It's not that fucking brutal. That would be like, insta-fuck you. Why would I not steal from 
Yeah. Like genuinely, like they gunned me down on sight. They still have a way to run out now too. There's that one guy upstairs. There's at least two people in here. Let's check if there's any food left. I might be staying here for a while. And if anyone sees an open door, then they generally get freaked out. So. This place is pretty big. But there's plenty of stuff downstairs, nothing worth taking. Okay, close that door. Let's go downstairs. Gray. Oh god, the stairs. Oh, there's a sound thing going off there. They won't be down there. Alright, no one's down here. There's a fucking lot of stuff here. Alright, I can't get through there. I don't know what's behind here, but I feel like it's something good. doing that on time, don't have to worry about that. The other person's gone into the room, so I've got a, a little bit longer. Yeah, this is the same warehouse it looks like. Yeah, the warehouse hasn't changed. This isn't one of the new locations. That's a spray paint. Yes. Hmm. I think that means I'm locked up. I'm not entirely sure, but you know. I'm not fucking going into that area. It's way too open. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't go downstairs, don't go downstairs, don't go downstairs. I even close the door. Alright, he's standing there. I feel like I should leave now. I don't think I'll get anything too good from here. Upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't go up while he's there. The hiding spot's right next to him. The only one in this hole. Okay, right. <laughs> he's going upstairs. Alright. Alright, I can't search upstairs because there's two of them up there. So, my only hope is to get the fuck out of here. And I'm not running quite yet. I think for now, I'll just go here, find it. Because if I go past here, he'll see me. Because of the line of sight will allow this whole stairway area to kind of fucking pop off. So, come on buddy, get the fuck out of here.
someone's eating. I like how the enemies just magically close the door behind them, but my character just never fucking does. <sighs> yep, someone's definitely there. Alright, he's finally fucking gone. This night has been a waste, it seems. <laughs> I'm gonna have to research those areas that I've been to. So that's a bakery, pharmacist. I'll go to a nightclub, see if they have anything there to say. I feel like they're the, the going back to a little bit kind of people. I think they had meds, so I'm gonna need that. my drinks anyway, because they always fucking taste like shit if you don't. Fucking kids just don't understand. Fuck off. They don't want to understand. Fucking like, mixed in. What's that? comes up in this dialogue, I don't know if I've said this before, but that's essentially your saved progress screen. So, my saved progress right now is telling me Malik is about to fucking die of starvation. sometimes. Hard fucking life. Slightly sick, extremely starved, exhausted. Oh, fuck. That guy's fucking walking corpse. Like, yeah, they, they fucking just said that, didn't they? I don't think of myself, but... Uh... Fucking hope someone comes here soon. That's gonna fucking need like three or four fucking pieces of meat just to fucking. Oh shit. I mean, even if a trader comes, they've gotta have enough food. And no one's had anything. No one's had fucking anything. Sometimes life, dog. Sometimes it can be fucking harsh on you. Go 
I didn't pull that too well. He doesn't need a broadcast, he needs to listen to the people. As usual, it's the common people who suffer the most. That's probably the most sad thing he has said. He has to be referring to himself because he didn't. Well, government propaganda. Malik loves what he's doing. I was just going to ask questions. He's not going to assign it to do anything. That's some news. I prefer a zoomed in camera because it just feels more intimate, which I feel is how kind of this war of mine is like displayed to be, how it feels it should be. So, you know. Not as bad anymore. Getting used to the vodka now. Yes! It's not a traitor. Brutal meds. Please have it. My husband's gonna fucking die if he plays outside. <laughs> what are they gonna... What are they gonna thank me for? Because I haven't done anything since... What was the last thing I did? I reported the pharmacist, wasn't I? Yep. Why isn't she running? <sighs> Very tired? Okay. She's gonna fucking leave soon, whenever sh they get like that. My god, it's taking her like fucking 10, 20 minutes to get to the fucking door. New transmission captured. Okay, let's see what that transmission is, boy. It's really nice that you can just press tab to swap between them. I completely forgot about that button input. Eh. I still, they only have fork option. But it'll be given out at the brewery. No received. That looks like a G. But there also seems to be like an L next to it. But I'll just read it as G. Just normal G. Give our thanks to Malik for warning us about the attack on Zatom. He saved them. He saved them. Many lives. That's just what I like to do, boy. Just how I am. I always like to be here every time. Life doesn't give me too many chances, though. Please announce it on the air so people know to come. Like, I just need to go there and make sure. Where? What did they say again? I can't remember where she said to go. Fuck. I probably should. I shouldn't be taking out knives. I'm fucking throwing it. Fuck it. Terrible. Right, who's. He's exhausted, so he needs to get to a fucking bed right now. She didn't fucking have anything, though. My husband's still fucking. Starving. Hey. All right, the brewery. New location. <laughs> this is actually a brand new location for the DLC too. Oh, but I'm burning. I'm definitely gonna fucking throw up. A couple drinks. <sighs> All right, so this is a new location for the DLC. It even says new on the locations. So, brewery, the description, one of the oldest buildings in the city. It housed a prosperous brewery, brewery, 
which started gaining international recognition shortly before the war. Its well is one of the few drinking water sources in the city, and people come there with all kinds of containers from the from miles around. So they don't go there for the alcohol, they go there for a, a well for water. <coughs> Interesting. And why did she say that we need a reporter so badly? That feels kind of suspicious now that I think about it. Like, something must be going on. Maybe this is where the plot twist comes in play, because something's going to come up soon. Otherwise, I'm not going to go... Mm. And there has to be a plot twist for this, because the other one had one, so surely this one has one. Okay. I can start to feel uh, making me uh, nearly in the tipsy range. I'm not alone here. How much have I had to drink? I know, I feel like that's like a quarter of what I've had. Oh, good. Oh, God, so many dead. Why are they dead? Run for your life. Who knows if it. Run! Hey, wait, what are you talking about? Hey, wait. Only trash and die. Yeah, what the actual fuck is he talking about? Why is she limping? Now let's check a life bar. Full life bar. Has to be very hungry. I mean, very tired isn't not. Is it? <clears throat> but seriously, why? Is he, he's searching off a fucking corpse. But there's a guy right there that's wounded still. <sighs> something. Something. Seriously. It will be okay. We'll get you out of here. Oh, okay. He's not searching him. Alright. Something is fucking going down here. Like, straight away. You can tell. Why is my character fucking moving? I, I have no idea which one of the stats. It's definitely not sadness. It's more likely to be very hungry, I think. My character's a bit of a bitch where they get win when they're very hungry, not just when they're starving. Please, be strong, it will be okay. I'll talk to him first. Because he gives me the option. Oh my god, he's seriously injured. Sweet, it auto zooms in for me. I completely forgot. I know if it zooms out for me afterwards, though. So. My friend is severely wounded. It all happened so suddenly. Yeah, it feels it feels that way when when stuff like that happens, eh? I want to kind of skip this to next dialogue box, but with. But this war of mine, it's like, you either listen, or you skip it all. There's no, like, skip to next in, like, line or dialogue, I should say. Wait, what? What happened? Go see for yourself, I need to take care of him. Okay, so it's not like a military gunning down thing, so... I, the way that he says it, I don't think I have to worry for my life. But the other guy said, run for your life, so... Maybe I do. Then again, they're still inside, so if... If it was a situation like that, wouldn't he be carrying him away instead? I don't know. Maybe it's just like there was a recent recent shelling here. Yeah, there's fire. Yeah. Recent shelling. You hear me, you'll be fine. They love their fucking shelling in this game. Like, everything just gets fucking shelled all the fucking time. Your brother is on the way. It's kind of awkward to read it when it's so far like that, but that's definitely fire. We'll get you out of this place, just hold on. I've never actually been this uh, like close to when something happened in this war. It's always felt like it was a couple of days out. <laughs> only trash and dirt. Please help. Like, this feels like it was only like a couple of hours or minutes ago. Because if she doesn't know what happened, it's going to be a couple of hours. 
But she sent long, all things considered. Looks like a fucking massacre for me, though. Oh, camera zoom. Auto locked camera. This is something big. Alright, what's the reveal? This is probably the, definitely the plot twist point. My god, what happened here? Holding her hands. That's the same animation that I used for the father at the end of the story. It's... it's horrible. Holy shit, yeah. Looking at it now, it's a lot more for this and I originally saw it. So I'm going to blend in. So many dead and wounded. It must have been some kind of explosion. But you know, he's dying. Hell, right, I'll talk to her first because she's she's hounding on how it is. Though, let's get to the crying ladies first. You fucking walk to her, piece of shit. Don't die on me, please. Don't. Oh shit, your husband. Please help. My husband is dying in my arm. Well, dying on me. I feel like it's a bit too much when it's when they describe it by arm, when it's like you can see that yourself, but, you know, I guess some people might say it like that. I, I don't want to say it's, it's artificial straight up, because some people might. I don't know how. I don't know how. Please, he's dying. Yeah, that's kind of just something that's happened, cliche, but it's like, you can still imagine people being like that, realistically. You know? Okay, that looked quest related, that one. So many dead bodies, blood everywhere. What happened here? Some kind of explosion. So I think why they said the Malik could just do it is they probably planned the explosion a day later. Just so that expecting that I would tell him then and then people would go then just so they could rack up so many more bodies, probably from the rebels too, because the rebels have been the ones that's been listening up. So it's not an attack directly on me, but on the rebels using me as a target, which genuinely is actually a really fucking smart idea. Thinking two steps ahead of your enemy, rather than just straight up taking them out as an informant, but using them to take someone else down. That's small. I'll give it to him. That's small. So many dead bodies everywhere. Blood everywhere. What happened here? Some kind of explosion? Yeah. We, I think I saw that before. Bodies everywhere. What happened here? God, I want to talk to everyone because this is super fucking interesting. We'll help you. You're gonna be okay. There's way more people that have wounded here than there are. No. Please help that man out there. He's still alive. Summon face of the army. <clears throat> Shit, so many people we need to help. I will try. Yeah, I completely get that guy, like, with this many people in need of help, and you're trying to help them all, with the stress of them all freaking out that they're going to be dying, and you're trying to, and, and it's just happening so quickly, like, I'd probably have a fucking breakdown if I were him. Hell with what I'm going down with, I'm already fucking... A towel or something? No, it's just the top of this, just here. Oh my god, there are body parts scattered all over. I guess 
Yeah, that would kind of freak someone out that hasn't seen that sort of stuff before. I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, I guess like when I when I know what's fake and I see it in a video game or movie, as opposed to when I see it in real life, even though it's the same thing that I actually love and adore seeing games. Like I'm one of those fucked up people that love my gore, but when I see it in real life, something on the similar line, it's like hey, I just kind of fucking freak out when I see it, you know. There are this semi rebels here taking pictures of everything some kind of nightmare how does she know there's rebels and i haven't seen anyone taking any pictures what like with, with the camera or a phone i feel sick but i have to find out what's happening i admire the fact that even though she's someone that's like gets super sick of seeing these sort of things she still pushes on anyway, despite having that weak, I don't want to say immunity, but, you know, uh, maybe like adjustment to these people are waiting for water when the shell hit, shell's hit. Yeah, so I use water or strikes again. It's always fucking water strikes with these people, I swear to God. I'm not at all amazed when they said the shells. Could have been from a tank being there. We didn't know if this was or a tank fire. The military is full of nothing but cold blooded murderers. It seems that way. But it'd be kind of. Yeah. I'm not really too interested in seeing like a military kind of like. poor us kind of story. But, you know, I guess it would provide insight into the military side. The whole world needs to learn about this crime. So who's going to be the guy that asks for me to broadcast this? What happened to you? When it is a story, but I don't. Apart from maybe helping the wounded, if they if they survive a full fucking day, because it would take a day for me to get to my husband and family. It would take another day for someone to get here. I can still talk to him though. What the fuck can I talk to him about? Why are you taking photos? Help the wound. Ah, oh, he's a rebel. And that's probably why I want to broadcast because they all know about I'm pretty close to getting to alcohol. That worries like I can't even talk straight. I can I can feel but <laughs> I will but I need to document this massacre but Yeah, there's reasons. There's reasons that you sometimes need to document stuff like that. We need proper evidence of this war crime. Well, without a doubt, it is a fucking war crime. But you don't really need evidence, to be honest. The Grazny must pay for the for it. The world has to know. So that's what the military is called. I think I've heard it before. Only briefly, because it's not like you get like a little fucking law book or something in this, you know. Let the nightmare end. We need blood, lots of blood as soon as possible. <sighs> Interesting that a breathing wife would be asking for that. Maybe a profession like nursery or something, and she actually goes, "He's dead. What now?" Oh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I didn't think I, I'd actually see one of them. Actually, fucking. Oh shit, the time is running out too. I can't. I cannot talk to anyone right now. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Well, I actually got something from that. It's only water, so that's shit, but. I thought I got anything pretty surprising actually. <laughs> Another badly wounded victim. Looks like he is in shock. Wish I could do something for him, but he needs a proper medic. Yeah, he does. God fuck. I, I can't talk to him. I can't talk to him. 
talk to him. I don't have time. I want to talk to him, but I just simply don't have time. Fuck this reggae it just ends here. I'll check upstairs, but I don't. I don't. I feel like I don't have time. Nothing worth making. Two people to talk to here, so we'll come back here tomorrow. And I'll talk to those two. And I'll check that upstairs for two. And whatever the hell that is. Yeah, it's a story related thing. But like fucking crack in the first Is there a way to exit from here? Yeah, there is. Quite easily, too. Yeah, so that's just a set piece for the story. I've got to leave this place for us. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Oh, there's a dilemma in this. I didn't think there actually would be. I thought just visiting the place would have been enough. Like, what is that to the dilemma? But let's read this for a sec. Hang on. Oh boy, 39 minutes. Well, I'm really losing track of time. Was a terrible massacre in the old brewery. Many people waiting for water were killed by mortar shells. The government forces have committed yet another war crime. But spreading this information might put us in grave danger. Uh. <sighs> <clears throat> So as I know, the left one seems to always be like, tell Malik everything, all of the truth, and the other ones kind of conceal it for our protection or someone else. You know? So, um, let's read them anyway. But I've already started to notice that pattern. Just thought I'd put that out there. Um, all these war crimes can't go unpunished. We must demand an intervention from the issue international community there must be retribution or tell Malik the truth about the massacre now the reason why I'm generally um picking the left side is because with with this it's all based on the truth these decisions on how much of the truth you're willing to give and my concept is whenever I get a moral, moral dilemma like this where it's like I genuinely don't know what's the right decision or what to do. I generally think the truth is the right thing, right? That what happens after you tell the truth or whatever, it's more on the actual events and the, the things partaking in that, not the fact that you're willing to give it. The fact that you're willing to give it, it no one can really like properly blame you for being honest is the way that I honestly believe it so the way I see it whenever I get conflicted like this it's like rather than waste time thinking about it because that would just completely fuck me up if I'm in something that's actually really hard to decide between I just decide the honest full and nothing but the truth is the way that I'm gonna lean towards you know so um let's just read between this one anyway. The military knows about Malik's radio. He may be in danger if he spreads the news of, the, of their crimes. 
And that's a picture of her holding a sh- oh. <laughs> I know what this means. I know what this- Oh, God. So either I save the people, or I save my husband. Because my husband's already fucking at death's door. So this is close to the end of the game. And this is like defining what sort of ending I get. Because he can still die and I can still get like an ending, surely. An ending with him dead. Right. He may be in danger of the spread news, the news of his crime, of their crime spread. I'll tell him this was an accident that the rebels used for propaganda. Oh man, lying straight up to protect your husband. I I get why she would. I get why she would. But it's such a grim thing that that would completely destroy her. Like if I were in her place, I would be completely like if I ever had that actual dilemma, like that would just oh man, that would completely fuck me up. If I would even think to lie to protect him like that. Which honestly, if the military was threatening him so much and actually saying that they're planning to kill him, like they did before, <laughs> I think just last episode or so, might have been this episode. I'm not really taking too hard track of what I'm doing because I haven't even edited it. Started, I'm, I'm still fucking bored. Like, I haven't gone into editing or, or anything for these three episodes, so. I've already committed to, like, fuck the military, so oh, I probably shouldn't have because <laughs> this seems like a good fucking spot. No, it's not. Either one's pretty fucking hurt. This is a good dilemma that they actually created themselves. Like, having seen that to me before wasn't actually as impact. Like, it felt more like a set piece to me like oh a cliche like moment where you're supposed to sympathize with like many people dying and like traumatic moment yeah big big whoop but this this dilemma that it's put on me now has really made me think like shit <laughs> look at that moment dude so um this is really gonna change up how you gonna fucking I've already decided, like, fuck the, fuck the military, so I'm still picking to honesty. Just fuck them all. But... I don't think it's gonna end well. I, do, I can't see how I'm meant to make this out alive. I just... I don't see. Yeah.